Please consider subscribing and following us on YouTube, Salty Tomatoes, one word, and on Twitch, The Salty Tomatoes, one word. All right, welcome to Dead Side. So, uh, it's just me, Vicious Kanish, today. It's going to be the Vicious Show. Uh, not much to, uh, to tell. We did have an update uh, with Dead Side. It's the uh, 2.9 update. Uh, I, you know, I was playing around with it a little bit. Uh, just allowed uh, CART to go from the southern green zone to the northern green zone. Um, I tried it out. It's just very simple. Not much to it. I kind of was hoping to see a little graffiti or some homeless or something that you might see on the subway. Uh, anything, you know, Wonka Vader or something. But instead, you just kind of get into it and the screen goes to a blank screen and then comes back up and you're in the green zone. So uh, maybe later on in the show, if I can get some more uh, uh, dog tags, we'll do that. It costs three dog tags to do it, so it's kind of expensive. Although there are dog tags you can gather up uh, through it. So anyway, uh, we're also going to try to look for a property to put a base in. Uh, I'm down in the southern green zone, as you can see. Let's see if we got what we have here. So I don't have any dog tags whatsoever in here. But I do have, I, I made a land a land claim marker, so I'm going to try to look for that. Uh, let's see, it's starting to get dark out, isn't it? it? Makes it fun. So we'll do a little of that, and we'll play around, maybe do some solo missions, and see how this works. Trader up here. So uh, when you get into the game, um, you will see this trader here, this guy here. And a lot of times uh, he'll be either either a weapons trader or he'll be uh, some sort of gear trader. Um, and usually I just ask people in the chat, uh, you know, whether he's a gear or weapons trader. Most of the time someone will say, oh, he's a weapons or gear trader, so you don't have to go all the way out there. But um, it's kind of weird that there's only one and it shows up occasionally. And, you know, I, I don't know why they got to make that so complicated. It seemed like it would be good to have two. So, but that's how they do it. So, anyway, so we're going to move forward. Uh, let's see how it goes. Now, I've been playing this. I'm playing Eastern. Um, I forget the name of the, what the uh, name of the server is. But it is Eastern. Uh, it is PVE. Uh, so, I switched over. I'm still on the PVP Western, uh, the one me and Joseph were playing. But I, I like the PvE Easter. There's a lot more people on it, and uh, my ping's a little better here So now that we're on the East Coast. So, so uh, let me show you where this uh, new cart system comes out. It's kind of weird. I, I didn't, I guess it, wait, did I pass it up? Maybe I did pass it up. I think it's over here. So you will notice if you've got a radio. Uh, oh, here it is. I think this is it. Uh, you will notice if you've got a radio that uh, it will often uh, ping when you come into the green zone on these guys. Don't know why. So they come over here. And basically it's just F. And he'll say, where would you like to transfer to? I'd like to go here. It's going to say price is three dog tags. And then the dead side loading screen will come up, and then you'll suddenly be in the green zone. And that's pretty much it. So, not too exciting. Um, it seems like the price is a little bit high. It seems like, you know, when PVE, you, you really just want to get from point to point. Um, there's really no sense in, in sitting there having to, to do dog tags and all that. It just means most people are not going to even use it. Um which is, it makes it just, you know, pretty much worthless, so. But, uh, that being said, uh, it's, it's a fun game. There, there is some quirks to it. Okay, so that's get out the claim. And what the claim does is puts a nice big red circle. Now, obviously, I'm very close. Whoa, whoa, whoa where am I hearing that? Okay, now I'm in the green zone. Now I'm out of the green zone. Um, interesting enough, the, uh, any of the NPCs, the moment you step into the green zone, get out of this real quick, the moment you step into the green zone, they can't, they don't see you. 
but when you step out of the green zone, suddenly they see you. So if you see here, uh, we're right at the, the green zone right here. Kind of fun. Um, sometimes over here on this side of the map, there's a little railroad over here, and the NPCs will be over here, and you can kind of go back and forth and fool around a little bit over there if you want. But anyway, okay, so that's continue with the land claim. Now, see, the land claim is not going to be, a, you're not going to be able to really build by any towns or roads. Well, some roads you can build by, but a lot of them you can't. So basically, we're going to just. Go a long distance and see if we can find something here. So that's too close to the road. So I'm going to go down and see where are we going to go. I think we will head up this way. We'll kind of go through here and see if I can get something. Um, I know I got something up in here. There's a lot of bases in this game already. So um, in reality, it's, it's, uh, it's really hard to find one. And then if you hit V, you can just, you can just run with it V. As you can see, the character's running. He's moving a little bit. One thing with the land claims is uh, where PvP, you probably want to really hide your base. You don't want it to be visible. You don't want it to be near anywhere where it can, you know, it can be uh, destroyed or attacked. In PvE, it doesn't matter, right? No one can, you know, destroy your base anyway. As long as you got a lock on the door. It's perfectly safe. So, that being said, um, the PVE aspect, uh, you just try to look for a place that's close to a road that you can maybe sniper from your base to the road. Uh, as you saw in uh, you know, some of our previous videos, what I was doing at the uh, West server, uh, the PVE West server, um, I built it right next to a road. I won't be able to do that here because it's just too 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 many people oops see up oh, there you go see that see see how that suddenly turned green that means that i can build here if i want now let's just go let's go this way see how far it is so let's stop there and this is it so can i go down here oh, can't go down there so this is the only spot right here see where this is on the map hmm Let me circle around where was that we just had it where'd it go oh that is weird did I just lose it I just had it Oh, there we are. Okay, back up. So, this is where it gets a little weird, a little wonky. But for the sake of everyone, I'm going to show you how this works. So, I'm going to go ahead and place this. So, I think I'm going to turn it. If I can, I'm going to try to get it right next to this tree right here. There we go. I'm going to hit F, and there you go. I got a land claim. Now, how close am I to the road? Let's see where I am. So there's the green zone. There I am. Pretty good location. You know, you go, you do travel up here a lot. So I could actually just build a nice little base and it'll, it'll, somewhere in here. I'll probably build re like right here. Um, I'm not going to build a big base, but we're not going to do that today because that, that takes a long time. But that's how the claim system works. Uh, basically, I needed a axe a hammer uh, and a saw and some nails. And I just basically axed this tree, uh, which gave me some wood. And then I crafted it down and uh, made some planks. And then I did some plywood and then I was able to craft this. So pretty simple. This is a simple process. Actually building the structure takes forever. So. Go back to Salty Tomatoes. We'll be a uh I'm going to see about building a base today. So, uh, looks like we got some uh, hostels in here. Um, there's no mission going on here, so it's, it's clear and free. But what I'm looking for is an axe. Um, oh, oh, there we go. There we go. So I'll pull back again, see where, where, where we're shooting from. Why is it, see, this sound just sucks. It sounds like it's right behind me, and I don't know where it is. This is the stuff that really frustrates me because 
I, it's, this sounds like, he sounds like he's right behind me. I mean, just right behind me, but it's not. Oh, come on, really? I thought I'd just change that. care of that problem. I was going to throw a little bit of this in here because, you know, I might as well just get a little bit of extra money. Yeah, it sounds like flies are behind me. It's just really weird. I don't know. Uh, Joseph got on and he thought before, you know, he left uh, for boot camp, he, he thought that they had fixed the problem. I don't hear it. It sounds like it's a stereo to me. So, um, I mean, it really just sounds like it's, it's all around me and I can't tell if it's up front or back, uh, and that they really do need to fix in game, um, because it, it's just really bad. And it, it, I get shot more times by that than I think just about anything else. Cause I don't know where to turn. I don't know if it's behind me, is in front of me. And if I don't have visual, it's just, it's bad. Yeah. So here's some nails. Fantastic. Uh, here's some more nails. Uh, we'll take a little of that, you know, because got to pay for probably have to buy some more nails anyway. Um, and you never know if there's people up here. Generally, there's not. So I'm just going to clear this real quick. Yeah, I'll take some of that. What's that? Oh, it's a walkie talkie. I'll grab that just in case I, I need it. Ooh, a battery. Good. Okay, so if you have a, uh, a, a broken walkie-talkie, like I just got a battery and uh, a, a motherboard, one of those little motherboards, uh, you can make a radio. And, oh man, all kinds of broken walkie-talkies in here. It's crazy. Probably won't use all of them. Oh, there's an axe. All right, good. So, uh, fantastic. So we can throw that out. There's my axe. I've been looking for an axe. So there you go. And then, of course, my radio just went off, so that means we had some more scabs come in. Um, now, you, you always, you know, it's just one of those decisions. Do I engage with these scabs or not? Look at They're already aware of my position. Look at them. I think they're being sneaky. I'll go this way. Now, sometimes these guys will sneak up behind you, so just be aware of it when you're going up the stairs and stuff. Um, they will come right up behind you, just as you saw them running there. They were in a kind of defensive mode. And, uh, oh, see, look at that. Now, if you always see explosives, take it. I'll show you how much it's worth when we get to the green zone. Um, worth quite a bit. Yeah, spare parts, I think that's worth 10000 It's that. I never know what that's used for. Okay, that's what we got in here. Spark plug, 1,500 ruples. Fantastic. So there's just lots of little stuff you can pick up. Broken flashlight, not even worth picking up. Okay, there you go. So we'll go downstairs. We might read some scabs on the way, and then we'll just get on out of here. I don't even know if I'm going to engage him. So now I've got some nails. I've got an axe. I might just buy the saw and hammer. <clears throat> They're not too expensive. And uh, some of the stuff I picked up actually will pay for it. So if you're kind of new to the game, you say, well, how can I afford that? Well, you know, I'll show you. The stuff I picked up will pay for the the... The hammer and the saw, and then some, and along with a bunch of nails. I'm gonna need a bunch of nails. So, all right. 
I always pick this up. You know why? Because I'll take this in here and I'll put it over here. So now watch. See this? I've got I've got two of them. Now I and I can sell that. So just put that there. Let me show you something. Take this. I take this. Looks like I got one here. Um, and then I just hit select all. Right? Look at that. Now I can make 200 ruples right there. Bam. Now I'll put that the you know the extra over here um now i'm gonna sell that's a hundred dollar pants i don't know why i got that that was stupid so six hundred dollars for that not much but hey it's it's something you're, you're actually you know that's just something so I combine that so there you go uh and then the shotgun not much again you just it's not much but combined with everything that i grabbed pay for my uh, building project yeah I come over here now look at this see this explosive look at that 10,000 so we're gonna sell that oil 500 800 here um, now I see how many of these I got three of them I really I've got one here actually this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how to do a battery or, or how to do one of these let me sell everything. I'll see 1500 for the spark plug. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, 500 for that. We're going to save the axe and we're going to sell the explosive 10,000 ruples. Right? That's just so now I got $15,000. And what did I do? I mean, what did I really do there? I, did, I didn't do much. I just went in there and, you know, I got a little firefight, but, you know, the amount of bullets that I spent, you know. So now we're going to take this all over here. gonna come over here and this is what I'm gonna do I go in here go to craft let's see what I craft no not that one which one is items okay it's item C there we go so now we can craft a walkie-talkie because we've got a, a electronic component uh, we got a broken walkie-talkie and a battery that's all you need those three things right there will get you a walkie-talkie um, which will let you know we're uh, about 100 meters out that there's someone there all it does is blip but it lets you know that someone's there so we're going to go ahead and craft this i should have done seeing how much that would be but let's see how much now let's go back over here and see if i was to sell that three thousand dollars from right there so again just good i'm actually going to put this in here because it's a good backup walkie-talkie for me now and so i got a bunch of that um i got an axe Okay, so I made about 15 grand. Um, now let's go over here. Let's buy tools. So we'll buy a saw. We'll buy a hammer. Okay. So that cost me you know, $4,000 for a saw and hammer. And then I got an axe. Now I'm ready to build. And I'm just going to throw some nails. I'm just going to weed this down because I, it, I probably end up needing a lot of nails. Uh, not that much, but probably uh, about 300 nails is what I'm thinking. Did we already go through it. I think we already did. Yeah, we're cutting into the. So we went a little bit over. Not much, but that's about it. That's that's good right there. So about 16,000. So really, I, I spent about a thousand dollars of my own money, and just by going over there and just getting a couple of things. Um, if you have a chance to get the difference in the axe. Um, I don't know what the difference in the axe is, except one is different uh, looking than the other, but they both seem to work the same. So typically if I, if I get an axe, I usually like to get the fireman axe uh, versus just the straight axe. I don't know. I, I guess in a battle that this is a better, better axe, but I don't know. No one's asking me, so axing me. Okay, so I'm going to go up here. Now, if you notice right here on the map, I have... Put a claim down. So we're just going to go right up there. It's 800 meters away. So uh, I just happened to find a little spot where there was a place to put a claim. Um, it's kind of in the woods. It's not really convenient except to the location. The view's not very good. None of that. But I really don't care about any of that. Really, I'm trying to do is just build a little fort that I can uh, go to and keep something in. Uh, you know, <clears throat> that I don't come back to the green zone if I don't want. You know? Um, 
And the fact it's so close to the green zone, it gives me just another storage spot. Um, now, with these, you're going to have to buy an electronic lock. I want to say they were... I don't remember if they're 50,000 ruples or 100,000 ruples, but uh, you need to have the electronic lock if you want to lock this thing. So you don't want to put anything. So literally, let's see, let me go back. Oh, stop. Hit V. Okay, this is the flag. And I'm just going to screenshot that. Okay, there it is. So my base is 400 meters from the green zone. You know? That's pretty, that's pretty good. Typically, I, when I build a base, though, I like to build a base that is uh, close to a road. Um, then I can snipe on people, you know, a lot of the NPCs that go by and all that. Um, I don't like building in the forest. It's kind of creepy and just has no purpose. But there's so many bases here, and it's so hard to find a place. Um, I had to kind of scope this out ahead of time before I did it. But... Uh, as you can see, we're kind of just right over here in the, in the woods. And we're a little cabin in the woods. That's all we're going to build. Very small, very uh, non-discreet cabin. Um, a little cabin in the woods. So. But you can pretty much build wherever you want to build. Um, I'll probably end up putting my structure... Uh, somewhere right in here most likely right here probably right here you know all right maybe even right here i don't know so this is well hold on where's my there's my claim right there so i might have it right here so i can look out there i see a little bit of water out there this is my claim not too exciting but okay sniper so what we want to do is we want to and i love the fact i can take my rifle and i can just dump it right there and i could do that and there we go and so what we want to do is come over here and see where where's my doesn't matter it doesn't matter what tree you pick but i'm gonna i think i'm gonna hammer on this tree um and then you just hold the button down and you just hammer away and uh Do this better with the mouse here. It is better to kind of face it head on. You'll get more out of it. And this takes a long time. So what I'm going to do is there's no sense in, in, in me going through all of this, but I will show you how to craft to craft the wood real quick uh, and I might skip through some of this because uh, this is this is just long and tedious and you just sit here and hammer away this is music For all you copyright fans Joseph actually uh, did this on uh, our, our piano Originally, when we decided to create this uh, channel, because um, we liked to, you know, he'd, he'd get on and play games, and uh, it was kind of fun, kind of a, a father and son thing to do. You just get on and do something on a, on a Saturday night or something. And so we thought, well, yeah, let's create a channel, and, and that's kind of how we got started. But um, so he came up with this little piece here, you know, kind of fun. Okay, now we've gone too far. So did you hear the difference? Of course, the music's playing, but I don't know if you heard the difference in the sound of the... But that's usually how you can tell when you're when you're full. So you go over here to the crafting. Go over here, and you just want to make a lot of wood. So there you go. It's going to craft down. It's going to take all that, craft it down. There's different structures you could build to, different types of structures. Uh, this is going to be very, very, very simple. Not much to it. Uh, it's a simple structure. And then we're going to, I want to say, so let's do eight of these. We're going to craft it down even more. So now we're going to do wooden, uh, I think that's wooden planks odd wooden planks 
Okay, good. So now we got four saw wooden planks. And then we've got some of those. And like I said, this takes a long time. It's not easy. But there you go. So there's a structure. So we're going to, you can build that. So that's your first block structure. It's basically the bones to the building. Um, you can't build anything without these structures, without this framing. Just like a regular uh, stick frame structure, um, there's these different types. Um, I find that doing this block structure or platform framing is actually a better way to go. Um, so basically it's got four walls and a, a roof and, a, and, a, and a, basically a floor. I may have to do two of these depending on how on level surface is. So I just come here. So basically it takes eight of these wooden planks. Excuse me. And uh, it takes uh, eight of these uh, beams. That's crafting. And there you go. Crafting away. I'm going to take it, put it there. Actually, it didn't take eight. So it only took four. Okay, let's place this. Now, you'll notice that as soon as I hit use, it'll create a red circle. Um, that tells you the radius or the area that you can build in. In this particular case, I would actually like to build on this edge of the radius. Now, see how see I dipped out? As soon as I'm in the red, it's not going to work. But the moment I come in, it works. So I'm actually going to pull in just a little bit. I'm going to face it kind of like that. I might even come down here a little bit. Just do something like that. Now I can, let's see if I remember right, what tool? Is that, okay, there you go. See how it came green? And go up. I can go down. Um, I think I'm going to do that. And the reason why is because I'm going to put another structure on top. I might go down a little further. I don't know. Eh, because that's not really enough room. That may not be enough room to get into the structure, but that would. So let's go up right about, let's go all the way up, and then we'll have our, a structure on top of that. Actually, like a little higher than normal, so that's right there. Okay, I'm going to hit F, and there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to build the same thing. I'm just going to build one more on top of it, and then I'll build a staircase, and you'll kind of walk up to it. Okay, so here we go. Back to the back to the hammering or sawing, chiseling, or whatever's we're doing, this axing. Get closer. And as it fills up, you will hear it different in sound. So if you've got an auto click, which I do, which I really should be using because I've got a carpal tunnel in one of my, my hands and this just aggravates it. But um, you can hit the auto click and it'll just go chip, chip, chip and do it for you. And you can just be a hands-free device. But I'm afraid if I do that, I may get out of everything here. hear that sh that sound change as soon as it fills up you just fast forward the video you don't this is too much for you fortunately this is part of the fun fun is just sitting here just doing this and if you keep your finger down on the clicker it just it on up do you hear the sound difference it changed so let me have something to drink real quick ah there nice and refreshing all right so now i'm going to go over here same thing as last time and i'm going to craft all 22 just a laborious process okay I'm gonna come over here 
And I am actually going to do nine this time instead of eight because I want to build a staircase. So one of them is going to be for my staircase. It might take two for the staircase if I remember. I don't remember, but. Okay. Now you can just work in here, but because I'm on a public server, people will come up behind you and take your stuff from you. And basically it's putting it down at your feet. So people can come up and grab it from you. So just be aware of that when your wood's down and when it's showing up in over here, it means it's down at your feet. Okay, so we're going to come back here. So what I like to do is I just I kind of build as I go. Uh, I mean, I'd like to build it all at once, do all the wood. And if you had a couple people helping you, they would just be cutting wood, and that's all they would be doing is cutting wood. The other person would be refining or, or uh, crafting it. But um, in this particular case, we're not doing that. Let's come over here. So over here, it looks like I need some. Uh, so I got a beam. It only takes one beam. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my glasses on. But uh, let's, let's see. It says wood planks. There's four wood planks. So I have enough wood planks. But it looks like I need some plywood, right? So um, it's two plywood. So let's come over here real quick. And we that'll make two plywood. Okay, good. Now, see, if I leave it here, it'll stand by my feet and someone could steal it. We don't want that. So let's come over here, and let's go ahead and put this other structure on real quick. And basically, it just snaps together. So I go up. There you go. See how it snapped? And there you go. And that'll be my, up, up here will be my happy little domicile. And I'll dwell there. All right, here we go. I'm going to chop away again. Chop, chop, chop. Now, uh, Joseph did a video a while back ago where he had built a, a structure and went through it. Um, it's pretty much the same uh, with some exceptions. Uh, the doors, you have to get the automatic lock for the door and all that. Um, that's, that is some of the differences. But uh, for the most part, it's the same. Oh, boy. It's taking forever here. Which I'll probably have to go back to the green zone and buy. Um, and then I have to look at how many nails I have. I believe I have enough, but um, I may not. The sound's going to change here in a second. Hold on for a sec. Let's see. Okay, so uh, we'll get a couple more hits in. The sound will change. So listen carefully to the sound change. Watch. Hear the sound change? So that's when you know if you got an auto clicker and you need to, uh, and you're wondering, well, why is it not showing up anymore? Well, the sound changed. And then you won't, you won't also won't see the little log show up as well. Crafting. Okay. Now, I <clears throat> like I said, this here, let me show you. That's where it is. Okay. So if I was coming up behind you, I could come up here and go, Oh, hey, thank you, uh, Mr. Vicious Ganesh. Uh, thank you for the free pastries today. Uh, goodbye. Or they don't even say anything. They just come steal it from you and then walk away, you know, because that's who they are. All right. There we go. So I'm going to craft one of those. Uh, now, I'll come over here. And then I'm also... So, yeah, I always pull it out. I never leave it there because, like I said, I mean, you can't hear a guy coming up on you, but nevertheless... I'm going to do four of them because we've got a lot to do uh, as far as uh, up both platforms. So I'm going to take that, put that over here now, and then we're going to go back to hammering away or chopping, axing, whatever we're doing here. Yeah, I've uh, 
cut down a few trees in my time. Uh, not a lot, though. I, I think I've maybe taken down maybe four or five trees. My mother used to live up in an area where she had this property, and it was by the National Forest. And they had pine trees just like this. Uh, and so they were pretty easy to take down. You, you know, you had to put a little chip on one side, you know, a little cut on one side, and then you go in about halfway, and then you cut from the back end. Um, and then it should, it should fall in the direction of the chip out that you've done. Um, and of course, you get under the tree and try to hold it up, see how long you can hold it up before it squishes you to death. No, I don't know. That's extracurricular work, but it makes it more exciting that way, at least for the people watching. No, these trees are could be a uh, – oh, see, look at that. Look over there. See, look, 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 look. See? Right over there. Those guys are walking, but they can't hear me. Now, should I engage them? Why not? Let's try it anyway. Here we go. Okay, so we're close enough to a road to where we can do that. Let's see if they come over this way. Of course, you know what? I don't have very much room to be taking a bunch of stuff. Well, sometimes, you know, it's just fun. To <laughs> Is that a person or a tree? Okay, what is going on now? Where have they gone? Okay. We have to address this issue because they, they might sneak up on me and try taking me out while I'm sleeping or something. Oh, there they are. See, they just continued right on. So let's see if we can sneak up on them. So I'm pretty close to a road. That's nice. And, and I don't know if it's the road I want, but... But see, these guys, they're just walking free. This is like, this is like Rupal money just walking by, right? It's free money, and it's here. And it's here for the taking, right? Unfortunately, I got no room to put it, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to do some crafting real quick because I have no room. This is sound like a good idea at first. I just couldn't resist the opportunity to shoot them. But um, See, this is why having a base, you you know, you, you shoot people going by like that, and then you store it at your base, you know? And it gives you a, kind of an extra income source. I'm always looking for additional income sources. Okay, so what do we have here? Anything? No, I'll take that, but you know what? I have no room for some of that other stuff. What I'm actually looking for is dog tags, which I think i got to take on a mission to do. Let's see, where'd this other guy go? I know he was over here hiding or something. Wait, wait. It's just weird. See, that's $1,500 for that just sitting there. Where'd the other guy go? I don't know. That's weird. Okay, so here we go. Here's a helmet. 2,000 ruples right there. You know? It's guns worth, I think, I don't know, 6,000 or something like that. Did he run over here? I think he did. Yeah, there he is. 6,000, I think, for this. You know? It's it's this type of stuff that this is how you can make money in a game. And uh, but unfortunately I can't strip them because I, I I'm doing a project back here. But I just couldn't resist that. Yeah, so I'm close enough to the road where I could do it. Normally I like a nice clear area where, where where's my structure? Am I heading towards it? Oh wait. Oh, it's over here. So it's definitely hidden in the woods. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to... Well, you know what? I'll wait to do that. I think I'll wait to do that because 
<clears throat> I want to get a wall up. Let's see, what other stuff can I craft right now? I want to do a floor. Let me do two. Oh, sorry. Let me do one floor. Okay. There we go. We want to use this. Oh, no. What? What just happened? Okay. So there's a little glitching going on with this game. Uh, I did notice the server seems to have a glitch. Uh, some glitching. It's really strange. Um, you'll be playing it. And next thing you know, you get this kind of glitch. Now, um, another way I just want to talk about... Typically, I have uh, a better vest that can store a bunch of stuff. And normally, I clear everything out when I build like this. I'd clear everything out except for a, uh, a pistol and a little ammo. That's it. Everything else would be cleared out of my inventory so that I could get the most amount of wood in here. Um, but obviously, for this demo purposes, I'm, I'm just showing you how, how it's done. But typically, I would clear all this out. I'd get rid of this heavy-duty vest. I'd get one with a bunch of slots in it and the most slots possible and, and just go to town. Uh, again, it's uh, it's just really, you know, just sitting here hammering away at it, you know, the grueling part of it. change okay let me go ahead and craft so now that i did that unfortunately i reduced i don't have as much room now <laughs> um okay so i should be able to make yes now, what we're going to do is I still don't want to put anything down just yet. Uh, I want to go and, and, and go ahead and get some more. Um, the reason why is because we're going to put a door there. And I want, sometimes the door looks better on one side or the other. And I'd rather just put the door there and say, okay, it looks better on this side versus the other side. Um, but I, So I want my staircase to kind of come right up to my door. Does that make sense? Um, the reason I do this type of structure, Joseph, I think in the other video did a, just did the box structure. I don't remember if he did it like this. I have to go back and see, but um, where he did two boxes on top of each other. I think he just did one box. He might have done two. I don't remember. Um, but the reason I like doing this is because you you have a storage place underneath it. So if you want to put you know some storage under it, you could, or you could. Uh, uh, you can just use the top portion as as a as a shooting deck, which is fun too. So, okay, so now we're gonna start creating the walls. Why are we? Oh, we don't have any. We don't have enough wood planks. All right, that's what's going on here. So we're just gonna craft all those wood planks and then go back and hammer again. This can be a bit of a long video here, but and my voice is starting to go a little bit here. Okay, so what we need is we just need some rough cut wood, which is weird. Uh, you have wood planks and then you have rough cut wood. So what they do is when, when they build walls out in the woods, they often have a plank uh, and two planks, but in between the two planks is a joint and they don't want really moisture water snow or whatever of these cabins so what they do is they cut a little rough wood like a little trim piece and the pieces that they couldn't use for the two by fours and they put those along that plank along that joint there and that's to keep moisture and all that when you're out there in the woods to keep it and you get to use all the pieces of wood when you cut down a tree or at least most of them so that's that's why they do it. That's kind of why this style is. Now there's different types of uh, things you could do. I I I'll do probably like right now. I'm going to do two with windows, which I should have done the door instead of that because then I could have put that in. But that's all right. Again, go 
kind of rusty at this. It's been a while since I've done this. So, and then back to hammering again. There we go. Whoop de woo. You spend all your time just doing this, staring at the woods. You know. And what you don't want is wolves. Yeah, there are wolves here, and they will get you. Werewolves. Okay. Let's craft. That would be cool, though, if they added wolves. That would make the game so much more funner. Packs of roving wolves that tear you to shreds. And back to axing away. Okay, there we go. Now, we should be getting pretty close to making a door here. There we are. Okay, so when I want to do the electronic door, which is here, uh, I first have to craft this door here. So I'm going to craft this door, right? And then I'll... Maybe I'll end the video that way. I'll go get an electronic device and I'll craft it for you so you can see how it's done. But let's come over here and now let's start putting some of this up. Let's get my door out. I think I want my door. And the back side is good. Um, see how that looks? So I think that I think we're gonna go with that. Now I'm gonna take my staircase and I'm gonna put my staircase in. Look at that. It almost lines right up. See, and I can walk right in here. See, isn't that nice? Oh, close the door so that guy doesn't come in. I dare you think about it. And then I could put that up. Voila. And then I could put that up. Voila. So now I've got two wonderful views, right? All right. And then, so it doesn't rain, let's do this. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Hey, so now all we need is just one more wall. And then I will, uh, I don't remember if I got to take that door off though to craft it. We'll, we'll discover that. that. That'll be a part. So let's get a little more wood. More back to, the, to this thing. But this is the simplest fort way. This is, this is real simple, not complicated, not much to it. Just very, very simple. And like I said, most of the stuff I just gathered over there at that uh, mill. And, uh, you know, you could do likewise. I don't want to overdo it here because all I'm trying to do is one more wall. This guy coming over. You see he's sneaking over, over here. Maybe he's going to be friendly, but or maybe he's just going to be a pain. Or he's just going to run by. Here, I'm slowing down over there. Pick that up quickly. Let's see. Let's see where. He's. Oh, he just kept going. Okay. He was just. He was just seeing what we were doing, making sure we we're doing it right. Nothing worse than the building department coming over and inspecting you in the middle of your progress. I am the building department. Hey, what? Wait a minute. Who's that? Someone who's trying to join your game. Well, I've done most of the, the wood. I've, I've done all the work. Your son's death, dead side was not updated. Oh, really? Well, you know. Yeah, that figures. <laughs> I've been patching it for the last 20 minutes. That's okay. I am just finishing up the last portions of this video. We'll say hi to everyone. Let everyone know Hello, who you everyone. are. Salvatore Ambilando, I'm using Joseph's account. Yeah, she's using Joseph's account. Now, she, you've never played Dead Side before, have you? Never. Okay. So, uh, it, it's oh. going to be a big learning curve, but... Uh, I'll probably die every five minutes. 
Let's see. Actually, I want to craft that one. So wait, I'm going to craft a wall. But uh, yeah, right now all we're uh, doing is I'm just finishing up uh, this video with showing everyone how to do this. And I just put a base in. And now I'm going to go get an electronic device. So uh, what you can do is set it up for Joseph because uh, he'll probably, when he comes back from boot camp or when he does get leave, uh, he'll probably want to come into this game. Yeah. Um, so just set it up to where it, you know, it all looks like, like him. As yeah, it's all updated and uh, it's all patched and I'm getting in actually. Okay. Well, uh, I've been listening. It's been a fascinating process with all the planks and the wood. Sounds like there's just a lot of wood gathering. It's a lot. It's very tedious. Uh, I don't know why they made it so complicated. Um, uh, I, I, that's that's one of my other complaints is the crafting and of course as you know we like to craft stuff uh, in this game yeah uh, there you can craft a base but it it's it's complicated and it's grueling um, and this is not a crafting game so guys here that come in for this don't really craft now I like it I, I make these huge bases because I like to craft um, as long as, as long as I can use my uh, little click device joseph downloaded this uh, automatic clicker so if i hit like f6 i, I got to turn it on first which i didn't turn it on but i've had x6 it just keeps clicking right click 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 and so it, i just go up so, to the tree and i just get my axe in hand hit the clicker and it just starts chopping away until awesome. i fill up um i see a player is that you well you're gonna see a lot of people with green over their head well, which town are you next to? If I was looking at the map and I... Oh, uh, okay. Well, okay. So there's green zones, okay? There's a southern and a northern green zone. What you want to right. head to is the southern green zone. Okay. If, if you're there. So head to that that circle there, that green circle, and try to stay off the roads. If someone shoots at you, just keep running. Got it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I have any gear to give you, uh, but it wouldn't be hard for me to get gear. Oh, I'm actually at Joseph's base. His base? Yes. Oh, oh, you might be in the wrong server. You're at my base, right? It's a huge base. Looks like a like hotel. A no, it's like an L shape. I don't know. How's it going, gentlemen? Yeah. Hello. How dare you? I'm a lady. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I am in a big base. Yeah, I might be at your base. So are you in a different server? I think so. I think, yeah, I think it's a different server. So just to point out, I, I got this weapon here. I'm just going to sell it, as you can see. Um, there you go. Just just that little, I just took those two people out, and I was able to, to make this amount. Pretty, pretty good. Ugh. That was a buff. Okay, so buff. now what we're going to do is I'm going to buy... Okay, so it's 100000 for that. So it's a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and buy it. There it is, 100000 And look, you only get 1000 if you go to resell it. Isn't that a ripoff? Gosh, you 100000 and you sell it back for 1000 What a ripoff. Okay, uh, I do think we're going to put that out. I'm up near the uh, northern green zone. That's actually where I spawned in. What up, homies? Hello. What up? Oh, it's Kier. Yo. Or Kier. Yo, Adrian. Yo. I got ganked hardcore by the server earlier. Oh, so? Fucking, uh, I had all my best gear on me. I got a stock. Okay, so those guys are in a conversation. Uh, I would like to join a squad later, but this is probably not the time to do it. So we're going to head back out. Oh, yeah, they just shut off a bomb in there. All right. The guy's giving us server horror story there. Uh, so I'm now going to head back to the base. Uh, which 
the nice thing is this base is really close. And, of course, my radio just ping. Not to be worried, because I think I know what it is. Okay, so heading out. So what you want to do, Lorian, is uh, just kind of explore around. Uh, try to look for, go into the buildings, try to get, grab stuff, try to look for clothes. Uh, you know, just try to survive. If you die, you'll lose everything that you have. So you'll want to go back to your body and grab it again. Typically, if they shoot you, uh, they typically will move on unless it's a convoy or it's, uh, you know, uh, the, the worst are the helicopter people, man. They'll just go to your body and stay there. But, uh, but yeah, if it's just these normal people, and you'll tell they'll have these shotguns, uh, you know. Are you there? How do you? Yes, oh, how do you okay. tell which uh, who, which which people are in which server? Uh, well, I'm in the... Okay, so I'm in Eastern, so I'm in PvE Eastern, official server. PvE Eastern. I don't think Joseph has ever gotten into it, so you'll have to recreate his character and all that. Oh, Okay. I'm coming up on 50 minutes here. So I'm going to end this here pretty soon. I'm going to show people how to put this electronic device in. So as you can see, I mean, look at this structure. Does that not look like a great structure? That's just really a fantastic looking structure. And uh, let's take a screenshot of it. I'm a master carpenter. Look at this. Here we go. So you take another screenshot. Beautiful. Nice. Wonderful. All right. Good. Fantastic. Okay. So, um, got a lot of people in green. So I think we're going to have to take this down. So now I'm going to remove this off because I put it on prematurely. And so it takes a while. Uh, so I'm like deconstructing it right now. Uh, once it's deconstructed, then I can put the, I can craft it with the lock, and then I'm gonna set my pen. But I'm gonna get off the air so that you don't see my pen, even though it's one, two, three, four. But don't tell anyone. Okay, now I've picked it up. <laughs> you saw it on the the thing. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go over here to craft. Now look, see how it's giving me this option to craft now with electronic lock. Here was this the first one I did. This is now the second one. Now I can craft it with electronic lock. Voila. There we go. Now I have a door that I can lock myself. And uh, who's going who's gonna to mess with me? So I think I'm going to put it on out here. And then we'll, we'll end this here. So there we go. Look at that. There we go. See, and it's like my electronic lock. You can see it right there. And then you can come in here and you can do one, two, three, four, or, you know, all fours for legal help or whatever, whatever it is that you want to do in there. And you can set it and forget it. So there it is. That is the shelter. And let's see how many nails I got left over. I still got quite a bit of nails. So you didn't even need to get 300 nails. You could have done it and probably uh, maybe 100, 200 nails, even 150 nails would have worked. Now, I am eventually will probably add to it and make it bigger, much bigger, and, and do stuff. But for now, this is all you need. This gives you, you can put uh, something in here, and it gives you a place. And then you put walls down here, too, if you want, which would enclose it. So that might be the next thing I do. But anyway, all right. Well, thanks for showing up. Uh